Hi team, how are we doing? So I had an interesting race with Porsche Club of Great Britain earlier this week and I thought it was too good an opportunity to pass up um, to be able to talk to you about how I go about approaching a race where I'm starting at the back of a big grid and working my way, obviously surviving turn one um, and the opening lap and then starting to work my way up through the pack. So as I said, we're racing with Porsche Club Great Britain. It's a Carrera Cup race at Nürburgring, uh, WEC track, B B E S W E C, I think it's called. So with it being Nürburgring and a big grid, we know that turn one is going to be a lot of carnage. You know, there's actually quite a bit of carnage on the opening lap. Um, so I'm just going to talk to you about how I mentally prepare for that beforehand, um, figure out my game plan, try and stick to it. And then when I'm actually in the race, where I'm positioning my car and what I'm looking for um, as I'm as I'm driving around and uh, trying to pick people off. So little little cues that I look for, which help me to make overtaking maneuvers and, and get the car in a position where I'm not going to get caught up in too much drama. So let's talk in. Let's get on with it. And uh, yeah, we'll see you at the end. OK, so uh, even before we start a race like this on the grid, we're already mentally preparing. So I know it's going to be a really busy race. Got 32 car grid. Um, it's going to be a lot of overtaking. There's going to be a lot of carnage because it's an Nurburgring and the opening lap. You've got three or four in that opening lap where there's a, a lot of concertina effect in a big grid like this. So there's definitely going to be contact between cars. So that's what we're looking out for straight away. So off the grid, um, also, because I'm in the luxury of knowing I've got the faster guys around me at the back of the grid here, I know they're more confident um, in driving the car. They're obviously quicker guys. They're going to be hopefully more aware of other cars being around them. So I know all the problems are going to be down at the front of the of the pack going into turn one with the lesser experienced guys. Now, off the off the start line, I'm not even going to going to bother launching the car too hard. I'm not going to try and make positions up going down to turn one. I'm literally going to sit back, let it all unfold in front of me and just take it nice and steady on the opening lap. Now, the plan is for the opening lap, um, we're going to make positions up, but it won't be through me pushing for overtakes. We're literally aiming to make positions up just from all the carnage that's around us and by keeping out of it. So. We're not going to be getting too close to anyone. We're going to let all the drama unfold and, you know, all going well. If Lady Luck's on our side, we should pick up quite a few positions just from the fact we've survived um, lap one. After that, once the tyres start to warm up, then we can start to push a little bit harder and uh, picking people off. So let's get underway. So off the line. Bit of didn't launch it, we didn't try it too hard, we're just going to let the boys get on with it. You're actually going to see I'm going to lift off a little early going down to turn one. So at this point here I'm just going nice and steady in and having a good look around um, to see what's going on. So we've got a whole heap of cars in front of us. I've got the luxury of having triple screens so I've got quite a wide peripheral view um, which obviously I can't show you um, recording it onto Discord. but Basically, what we've got in front of us, a load of cars, and already see there, we've got one car has been hit up the behind um, going into turn one. So we've got a bit of drama going on there. So I've got these four cars on my inside into turn one. I've got a couple on my outside. I've got no one behind me at all. So I've chosen at this point, I'm going to stick in the middle of the track. Then I've got equal opportunity to go left or right if I need to. Um, but I've already decided free race in my head that I'm going to stick out nice and wide at turn one. Most of the time, 99% of the time at Nürburgring, the drama happens on the inside at the apex, which is exactly where it's happening now. There's also another little incident kicking off just a bit further around from the apex on the inside. So we're going to stick in the middle. We're going to run out nice and wide and then uh, let the drama unfold, stay out of trouble. But I think what you'll see now is these four cars on my inside are actually going to get bulked up with that incident that's taken place down on the apex. So there we go. We've just roared past them all because they've all had to near enough come to a stop because of that incident. We've got nice gap in front of us. So we've got four, we've got four six cars directly in front of us. Um, I've got a couple on my inside as well. 
There's no nothing really to worry about. And then uh I'd say we're just gonna carry on around here, slot our way out to the outside and start to accelerate away. So as we're coming out of the corner now, we've probably got I don't know, eight cars now on our inside um, who are finding their way out the corner. We've got two, we've got one going off into the barrier on the, my right hand side. You can just see the smoke on the right hand side of the screen there. He's actually about to hit the wall. Got another one parked directly beside me, side barrier as well. So a lot of drama there, but not too bad. Considering it's Nurburgring, it could be worse. So what we're going to do here is we're on the left hand side of the track. I've actually got my teammate now on my right hand side, um, but I'm not going to worry about him too much because he's my teammate, so he won't do anything silly to me. So we're going to stay over on this left hand side and follow this green car that's in front of us. Turn two. OK, so as the game plan said, we've gone into the uh, into turn two. We're keeping to the left hand side. We're just going to slot in behind that green car that's in front of us and work our way through nice and steadily. So we're just keeping an eye on him. I'm also at this point, I'm scanning around further up the track just to see what's going on. And we're looking for any signs of drama at all. Now my game plan is already um, set before the race, which was to come around turn two and I'm gonna to stick to the inside down to turn three. So I think there's gonna be quite a bit of contact going down there under the braking, so we're going to try to stay over to the left. So there we go, straight away in front of us there, we've got a drama, we've got a car um, going up in the air, up onto its roof, but he's on the left hand side of the track, so I've already spotted him, but that's, uh, sorry, he's on the right hand side of the track, so I know that's over to the right, it's not going to affect me too much leaving a little bit of a gap now between that green car and me just in case he does anything uh, silly swerving around now we've also got the orange and black car ahead of us here in the middle they just coming together so just in front of the green car you've got the black and orange car just coming together that's all a lead on from that earlier incident so i'm just keeping an eye on those as well um, and, and seeing how that's going to affect proceedings. Now, looking further down through the corner, we've got a four-car pack at the front, and then we've got a three-car pack following it in quite closely. Um, doesn't appear to be too much going on there. We'll just work our way forward. But we're keeping our eye on that as well. So peripheral, um, I'm actually looking, my point of vision, I'm actually looking at that four-part four car pack at the front of the grid down into the corner and then everything else i'm just scanning for movement with my peripheral vision if i see anything any kind of sudden movements or cars flying then obviously that grabs my attention quite quickly but we're sat here pretty pretty good we're hard over to the left so no one's coming down my left hand side so what i've done there is i've halved the opportunity for any dramas from behind so um by moving myself over to the left hand side of the track, I've taken that out of the equation. So there's only I've only got to worry about now the cars on my right hand side. I've also got plenty of space um, in front of me and around me. So if I need to take evasive action to uh, clear any incidents, I've got plenty of room to do that. So we're working our way down. Uh, we see the incidents clearing over to our right hand side. But what we've got is two cars have come together now in that free car pack. So um, the blue and yellow car and the white and blue car have come together in the middle there. They're mid-track to outside, so it shouldn't affect me on my line. But what I'm worried about is the pack of cars out to my right-hand side are bearing down on that. So we might find they're swerving in and coming in towards me. So what I'll do is I'm breaking early. I'm going to make the gap even bigger in front and uh, just keep myself right over to the left hand side so that if anyone does start swerving around to avoid i've got plenty of room to maneuver so there we go it's gone on again in front of us so orange and black car have really got together now but they're over that other side of a track what i'm worried about here is the green car and the car in front of it are, are right behind that incident and are they now going to come across in front of me so for sure now i'm following uh, Mr. Whereby in front of me, Mr. Mark. We're going to keep right over to the left hand side, well out of the way, and uh, try and just slot through here without any incidents. We should pick up a load of places. 
So there we go. We cleared that one. We managed to uh, find our way through, which is no drama at all. What we have got, though, is the black car that's out on the outside. Black and red car that's right on the outside. Here. You can just see him in front of that green car in front of us. He's actually gone really wide out there. He got tagged, but he's got quite a bit of pace, and he's coming through pretty quick. Now, as I exit the corner, you'll lose him in, the, in, in our screen here, but he's on my outside, and he's got his toe down. So as we come out, we've just got to be aware that he's going to come down our right-hand side. And I actually didn't spot this um, quick enough in the race. So I make what could be a little bit of an error here that could have got me into quite a bit of a tangle. So I actually come over to the right-hand side of a track, and then he comes thundering down my inside. Luckily, I see him at the last minute, and I get the lock off and manage to avoid him. So here we are. I've come over to the right-hand side of a track now to get a bit of a run. Um, and I didn't realise that the uh, black car is coming down a lot faster. He's got quite a quite a bit of pace. So you'll see me jerk out in a minute just to give him some room and let him go. Not too worried about holding him up or trying to make a position on him. At the moment, all I'm trying to do is stay alive and keep up with the pack. Don't worry about it. So there we go. Jink out. I let him through. I say she's not worth fighting for him. I can see he's got a fair bit of damage on his car, so I don't think he's going to be too much drama to worry about later on in the race. So we're following him through here, and again, I'm just looking. This is another corner I earmarked for a bit of uh, contact, so I'm staying out nice and wide to the left. I'm looking in front of me now. We've got the uh, pink car way down the track in front of me. He's out really wide. So I'm thinking there's a couple of positions that could be made up here if we get a good run out of this corner. Um, so I'm going to set myself up, so I've come out for a really wide line, I'm going to take a late apex and get on the power as quick as I can out of this corner, Let's try and get a good run down to the next hairpin, and maybe we can make a position up. So turn in nice and late, hard on the power, get a good run out. And at this point now, we've got that run, but we've got decisions to make, because We've got a run on the car in front of us. We're also catching that pink car up as well. And there's another car, Mark, which is over just in front of the black car in front of me on the right-hand side. So there's three of us potentially going to end up at the hairpin at the same time. So where am I going to go? Um, so with this one, I'm, I'm going to make a decision to go to the inside. Um, but it's, it's a pretty late decision. I'm, I'm kind of letting it all unfold in front of me as we go down. So what I'm going to do is, is in a minute I'll slot behind the black car in front of me, which puts me in the middle of the track. And then once I've analysed and figured out where everyone's going, then I'll make the move that I'm going to commit to. I love a real good game. So come in here, slot into the middle, and I've got all all the cars in my line of sight now, so I can see exactly what's going on with these three cars in front. And then I'm going to make the decision. I'm actually going to go down the inside, and uh, I think we're going to try and get past that pink car under the brakes with everybody else. The pinball. So under braking, pink cars, he's been buffered into the outside, so we'll just dive underneath him here. No problem. Coming out, we're just going to work on the exit, coming out, and drive up. What I'm looking for now are cues to help me um, get past the black car in front. Now, he's a pretty rapid driver. He has got a bit of damage on that car already, um, but I know he's a quick driver, so I need to dispose of him quite quickly. Um, so I'm looking for cues now that will help me uh, get that done. So straight away here, he's, he's turned in early. I've already seen that. I've come out quite wide. We're on cold tyres. I'm pretty sure at the speed we're going with how... Um, how much of the corner is actually closed off by being in the middle of the track. He's going to run wide on the exit. So I've come out wide to make sure I get a really good run out of this corner and hopefully we can get him at the next one. So he goes up the kerb, he washes out wide and he's on the gravel and that gives us a run to come up here. Now if we just rewind back here, at this point I've got a decision to make because we know we've got the run, we, we're carrying a lot more speed than him out the corner. I want to go down this left-hand side. 
Um, but there isn't really room at the moment. So this is that split second decision where if he stays there, I'm just going to have to lift off and probably slot in behind him. Um, but hopefully he hasn't seen me at this point and he's just concentrating on the car in front and he'll move over to the right hand side. That is the plan. And he does. So we get the run and we get up beside him. Now at this point here we're breaking, we break a little bit earlier, I've already got the uh, the move done on Dan, I'm way down the inside of him and just in front and he's actually given that up, he's, he's, a, you know, he's a, a, a really good driver so he's just giving it to me, he doesn't want to get in any more fights, he's already had enough of his... Uh, his damage on the opening lap. So at this point here, my attention shifts to the next black car, which is on my right hand side there. And what I want to do is I'm going to break down into this corner, but what I don't want to do is to come into contact with him. So I want to close him down as much as I can on the brakes, but obviously I don't want to ram him off as well. So I'm on the brakes quite early, but I'm not applying as much pressure as I normally would. And I'm just going to squeeze the pressure on as I need to, but I'm going to try and close um, that car down as well under the brakes to try and gain as, as much distance on him as I can. So we're squeezing the brakes down, obviously we have to turn a bit tight and then we're just going to slot back into the racing line and work on our exits to try and drag our way up to him on the straight. So at this point here I'm, I'm calming down, I've got no one behind me, no one around me so I'm having a good look up the grid now to see how the pack's doing. We're all starting to spread out a bit, but I can see already we're starting to Constantina back up again. So good run through the chicane. And then we're just going to try and keep it nice and tidy for the last turn and get a good run down the main straight. Hopefully we can do some overtaking into turn one. So I'm a little more confident the tyres have got heat in now. Um, so this moves on. So we've got a good run. We're in the draft. I've already decided I'm going. Pull out. And Mark actually gives it up, tells me to go anyway, so good on him. At this point, we're braking hard in a straight line as much as possible, and then I'm going to really crank the steering on at the apex. Now, the only thing I've got to worry about here is the uh, the white and black car that's on the left-hand side there. He's gone out very wide um, and missed the apex. He's going to be out on the left hand side of the track and it's pretty much where we're going to exit as well so at some point he's going to come across basically the front of my car with the line that he's on so i'm having to brake even harder now because i know um, he's going to come across the front of me and i don't want to drive into the door of him so i can't take my uh, my normal speed through this corner so brakes 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 we're waiting for him. He hasn't come across the front of us, but what he's ended up doing, he's gone out really wide, but he's actually beside us now on the left-hand side. So I know he's there, so I'm going to give him a lot of room. So I'm coming over to the right-hand side of the track now. I can see this guy out of my driver's window. Um, obviously, you guys can't because we haven't got the triple screens. But I know he's there, and I'm just going to give him plenty of space and see what happens. I'm thinking already in my mind, he's probably going to push very hard up to this next turn. He's going to enter too quick and he's going to understeer out wide. So I'm giving him a wide berth because I don't want him to understeer straight off into me. So as we turn in, here he comes. I can see him coming across. So I'm just going to lift off early, little bit of brakes, and I'm going to give him the room to go out wide without taking me out. Slot him behind him, and we'll just follow him through the next few corners and see what happens. So he's gone out quite wide there. We're going to stick in nice and tight and just follow him through. And we'll try and get the run out of here. He's stayed in tight, so we get a bit of a run. Now going down to the next corner, because of the cars in front of him, he isn't going to be able to, to break as heavily into the next turn as I can. I've got a lot more room. So I can really, uh, I can push up onto the back of that yellow or is it green car in front of me, whereas he, he can't. So basically, if he stays where he is now, down to the next turn, I can make a position. I'll just drive straight up onto the back of the yellow car in front of me and uh, pull, pull up beside him and then he can't defend that. So coming down here, kick myself over to the left, bit of late braking and there we go. Slot through, another position made. Now what, as soon as I'm beside the car I've overtaken, my attention shifts to the next car in front, which is the blue car 
on the right hand side there. So I'm keeping an eye on him now, um, making sure I've got enough room so that if he comes across the track, he isn't going to chop my nose off and, and get into contact with me. So give him plenty of room and just let him do his thing. Luckily, he's given me a bit of space as well. So we're all sweet. So coming down to this next corner, we've got a big chunk of cars in front of us. Um, and I'm just going to follow this guy through in the blue car. And again, what I'm working on here, I'm just looking for the exit. So no real overtaking opportunity into this corner, but there's a good opportunity in the drag down to the hairpin. So if you can get a really good run out of this corner, um, you've got a good opportunity to overtake in the next hairpin coming up. So that's what I'm aiming for. So the idea for me here is to stay out wide. I'm going to stick behind the blue car, but I'm going to stay about a car's width, half a car's width over to his left hand side. So that if he does anything like braking or, or a lift off a of throttle, um, I'm not going to run straight into the back of him. That was the plan. Unfortunately, it doesn't work out like that. So at this point here, as you see, I'm half a car whips over on him. I'm keeping my eye on him. I know I've got the other car just looking down my inside as well, but he isn't quite there. I'm just going to flick over to the uh, chopper cam so we can explain exactly what's going on here. So on chopper cam there, you can see me. I'm in the black and white car. I've got the blue car. We're in the middle of the corner. We've got the blue car um, in the middle of the corner as well. In front of them, there's the golf colors car and the uh, green car they're actually coming together so they're starting to bang doors and then further down the track we've actually got a pink uh, bwt car that's um i don't know had a moment but it's on the grass on the inside of the corner now in the position i'm in i can't see any of this going on which is pretty bad i've got myself in in not a great position here um, and I can't react to it whereas the car in front of me can so what's happened is if we go back down into my car, you'll see the guy in front of me is going to have a little wobble and he's going to just start to edge out towards my line on the outside. And unfortunately, I'm possibly just a little bit too close to him. So when he does that, he lifts off and I do accidentally just tiny, tiniest of taps and I send him into a spin, which I feel terrible about. So you can see there, he's just had a little wobble and come out and then he's wound the lock back on uh, which has put him pretty much in front of me and I try to straighten my wheel out to get out of his way but there's not a lot I can do so we do make contact unfortunately and I feel really bad for it as he ended up spinning and actually ended up on his roof so we survive that one we lose a place uh, but we're still in the game so at this point now the pink BWT car has come back on track and then he had a fight <coughs> had a fight with the golf sport car and unfortunately mr golf sport has come off worse for that one um and he's going off track but we haven't got to worry about him he's he's gonna go off out of our way so my focus now is on the the white and black car in front of me I'm trying to get our position back ollie you're a blink coming down into this corner We've got a little bit going on here and I'm looking around, looking ahead. So I've got the green car on the inside. I can see from here that car's got quite a bit of damage. You can see the top of the front wheel, which is a good indication on the cup car. Um, the car's got quite heavy damage. So he's running rather tight down to the hairpin turn, which is just a signal for the late send accident coming. We've also got in front of the, the car in front of me, in front of him is the pink BWT car. Um, and this is the one I'm looking at. So I'm wondering if that car knows that the green car is coming down his inside. Yeah. So as we get down to the corner, green car's committed to the inside. He's way, way tight. Um, he's up for making a move down there. Really? And the pink car starts to, uh, to turn in and he hasn't seen him. So at this point, I'm pretty sure in my mind there's going to be contact and uh, I'm already making adjustments and putting myself in a position to try and avoid it. So I've come out quite wide and I'm braking to get the speed down as much as I can. So I've got as much time in hand to avoid anything that goes on. Okay. So contact's made. Um, BWT cars come off worst. And now 
I'm in full self-preservation mode, just looking for a way out. So I'm looking for a gap. At this point here, my intuition is telling me to go to the inside. So you can see I've got the lock on and I'm just going to bring the car over to the inside curb and drive exactly where that green car is going. Everything is good. We're in control. But at the same time, I'm watching the wheels on that BWT car to see where they're going. Are they locked up? Has he got his foot on the brake or are they still, still spinning? And at this point, they're still spinning, which tells me that car is coming down towards the inside of a track if the guy doesn't get his foot on the brake soon. So another split second decision here. If I go for the inside, the chances are he's going to come down and T-bone me in the driver's door, possibly take me out of the race. So I switch tactics at the last second and I'm actually going to go out wide and go around the back of him. So, so at this point here, decision is getting made. Um, I'm not going to fit down that inside. That's where the car's going. So I straighten my car out, jam the brakes on and we make our way up towards the outside of the corner and around the back of him. Now, unfortunately, I do just graze him as I go by which, much to my annoyance, picked me up four X's. And iRacing gave me a bit of damage and then immediately took it away, so I don't know what was going on there. But we'll play it back at full speed, and we'll show you, and I'll just run through it all at full speed. So coming down to the corner, I'm looking at that green car because I just know that's not signaling um, a good outcome. Okay. BWT car turns in, he spins, I switch down. out to the outside, and then I take a bit of damage, but disappears, and we're safe to go again. So coming up the hill now, we've lost a bit of distance to the car in front of us, so we're just working on carrying the speed through the chicane, through the center, uh, Schumacher S, and just trying to close that guy down again. So getting confident now, the tyres have got a bit of heat, we can start to push the car a little bit more. And all we want to do is get close up, so that on the straight we get the draft and we can close it down. So again, on this straight, I'm just looking all the way up the straight to see the other cars, see how far apart they are. The gaps, the pack's starting to spread out a bit now. So really, we just got to worry about these two cars in front. So a good run through the chicane. And then we're just going to try and keep it nice and tidy through the last turn. Slot in behind this guy, get the draft. And that pretty much guarantees we're going to try and go past him at turn one. So we're pretty matched down the straight, haven't got a great run, but we're close enough to make a move. So pull him right over, and I'm just going to let the car drift by into turn one. Now at this point again, I've got to worry, once I've gone past the guy, my focus shifts to the car in front. So with him, he's turned in a little late again, and I'm just worried he's going to come across the front of my car. So I've really got to slow the car down and just be ready, because that car now basically is going to turn across the front of me. And I don't want to barrel straight into his passenger door. So he goes across the front. I just wait and turn in um, at the last minute. And then we let him get out the corner. I'm just going to slot in behind him up here. And get a run down to the next corner. Now at this point he stays quite tight. So I know he's already going really defensive. Um, he obviously knows I'm behind him. And uh, he's gone very defensive into that corner. So... That's got me thinking, <clears throat> we've already got him on the ropes. So I'm going to stay out nice and wide and get a nice balanced entry into the corner and see if we can pick up any faults he's made on the exit. <clears throat> so as I say, he stayed in pretty tight there. We're just going to follow him in. I'm going to keep just the car's width over. And then when, once I know he's in front of me, I'm just going to slot him behind. He goes quite tight again. I'm going to stay out wide just to get that run on him out of, the, uh, out of this corner. My aim is to get a run on him down to the next corner. So I'm trying to get on the power early, keep the car balanced, just get a bit of oversteer, which uh, doesn't help us in that moment. So we're just going to stay behind him, follow him down to the next corner. Keep out nice and wide. We're aiming for that exit again. He's turned in early. He's got the curb, and you can see there he's got a bit of understeer going on, so he won't be able to get on the power. Whereas we're set up quite sweetly. We're, we're just going to apex late, and I'll be on the power a lot earlier than he will. So we're going to get a really good run out of here, and we should get him down to the next corner. 
So we've got that run, it's a solid run out of here. We can just pull up behind him, pull out, make our intentions known, and then just, he pretty much gives it up on the brake pedal. He brakes quite early, I think he, he knew he was done. So he just lets us through. It's a nice safe pass. Keep the car tucked in tight so he can't fight back. Slow it down and then just work on getting out of the corner as good as we can. So now we're just worried about the uh, next three cars in front of us. So we're going to actually fast forward it a little bit. And all we're doing is trying to keep the, the corner smooth, work on the exits and get as much speed build up as we can. So we've got a free car pack in front of us. What we've actually got is um, two sort of mid-pack cars and the one fast guy who was actually second to me in race one. So he's working his way through them. So coming down into turn one, I'm having a good look around now, see what's going on with these guys. So we've got the 360 uh, orange and blue car, which is on the inside there. He's got very tight. He's driving very, very defensively. Then we've got the fast guy in the middle who's working his way through with me. Now, I want to get past him at some point as well, and I also want to keep him close because he's got a bit of pace. I don't want him getting too far away from me. And then we've got the third car, which is the one directly in front of me. So I'm just looking at them now. So I already know one guy is really, really defensive. We've obviously got quite an aggressive, faster guy in the middle. And then we've got the one car at the back I need to deal with first. So... Turning late here, we've got our blue and orange car has gone really, really wide because he was so tight turning in. He's gone right out to the left-hand side. So I'm already concerned about where he's coming because he's got to come back on the track. But where is he going to arrive? Is he going to come out in front of me or is he going to come out beside one of these two cars in front? So I'm just taking it easy here, weighing it up, seeing what's going on. So he's managed to come out in front. The quicker guy's on his outside. I'm just going to sit back and I'll watch him and see what's going on and then try to maximize on any mistakes so again our blue and orange car has gone very defensive going into uh, turn three here he's on the inside line very tight faster guy is going to go around the outside of him he looks pretty committed to that i can also see from this point he's got a bit of damage on his car so we need to keep that in mind for a, a bit later on and then we're just watching where the car in front of us is going um he's taking an outside line at the moment but I just want to be careful he doesn't suddenly switch to the inside which he does so we're just going to slot in behind him and at the same time we're keeping our eye on those two leading cars to see what they're getting up to they're getting a bit close there so just a bit concerned there might be some contact so I've taken to the inside um, if there is any contact between them I've got plenty of room to get by and I hopefully won't get caught up with it so staying tight to the inside. Now what we've got here is getting rather interesting. So our fast guy is very tight for the next corner over to the apex. And we've got our super defensive guys now quite wide. And the guy in front of us has left the factory door open for us to go down the inside. Um, it's not just the front door, it's the factory door. And it's a very, very inviting gap for me. So it'd be rude not for me to stick my nose down there and take that. So I'm going to... I'm going to go for it down the inside, at least try to pick one of them off out of this corner. But I've got a feeling um, our very defensive guy in the blue and orange car isn't going to get a great run out of here as well. So I'm keeping my eye on him now because um, he's my main concern where he's going to end up. So at this point here, um, blue and orange car has had to take quite a big lift to miss the quicker guy in front of him. So he has been held up on the exit he's had to take a lift when we we're all getting on the power so his run has been compromised so i already can see this going on and i've chosen at this point to stay tight over to the right hand side out of his way so that i can just drive past him on the street my aim is to get past him by the next corner what i haven't um, taken into account is the guy i've overtaken is actually right on my outside now beside my driver's door and he has had equally as good a run as, as me out of his corner. So we're going to come out exactly the same pace side by side. And this is where it's going to get quite interesting down here um, running down. So at this point, blue and orange car starts to come over to the middle of the track. I'm committed to staying to the right hand side. 
and our friend who's on my driver's door has decided he's going to the left. So we're going to go three cars wide. Now, I'm quite confident. I've raced with the blue and orange car quite a bit. I'm quite confident um, being around him quite close. And I'm, I'm pretty sure he's, he's quite aware of what's going on. So I'm quite happy to go three cars wide down this straight. It's quite There's quite a bit of room here for manoeuvre. Um, the only problem is that once we get down to that advertising hoarding in front of us, the track does narrow down quite a lot. And it narrows down on my side. So I'm going to run out of track really quick. And there is a patch of dirt on the outside of the track there, which is treacherous, which I do not want to hit. But at this point, I'm quite confident I've got the momentum to drag myself past this 360 car. Um, so I'm going to stick with it. So foot hard up it. I'm staying to the right and I'm going to commit to the move. Now, at this point here, the track starts to close down. We're just going to flick up to chop again. So you can see here, our friend in the 360 car has given us a bit of room. Um, but what he, I don't think he realised was there's another car on his inside. So he's going to get a warning there from crew chief that there's another car. And he's actually going to start coming over towards me as well. So you can see there, he starts to work his way over. I can see him coming. Um, and I'm starting to panic here because I've got quite a bit of momentum on. And I'm running out of track quick. So at this point, I'm using all the track, the white line, and I've got my two wheels just on top of the dirt as well. I mean, I've put myself in a pretty deadly position here, but it's at this point you have to make a decision whether you stay in it. Well, you can't really not, because if I'd have not committed at this point, I would have been dead. I only have one choice, which is to try and get around a corner um, with the momentum I've got. So... I'm braking, but very, very gently. I've got two wheels on the dirt, and uh, I don't want to brake hard, and I don't want to turn the car hard as, as well either. So I've got a tiny little bit of lock on, and I'm just braking very, very gently, and I'm going to use all the track width on the outside to get me through. So we'll play it down at full speed. So coming down, just gently braking, let the car run out wide just try and get control and we made it which was the main thing we've actually made it past two cars here which is pretty cool so pretty defensive into this turn keep them all behind me get on the power early and now my attention has turned just to the car in front so i've got the faster guy in front of me i want to try and keep him close and then we're catching a slower car as well so we've got that to worry about so coming up the hill i'm looking ahead trying to figure out when we're going to catch this guy and uh, where we're going to catch the slower guy. So we fast forwarded a bit now. So coming through the corners, all I'm trying to do is work on the lines, keep it nice and smooth, and just try and keep in the toe of this guy in front, not let him get away. And we're just trying to drag up to the back of it. So we get good braking into the chicane. Nice run through the chicane, close up on him a bit. And I try again for the last turn, just keep it nice and smooth, close up on him and get a good run down. So at this point here, I know the guy in front of me has got a good run on that slower car in front. It's pretty much a given that he's going to go past him on the brakes into turn one. Now, I want to be as close as I can as well, so I can try and pick up on uh, any mistakes that are made between these two cars. If our faster friend here makes it through, I want to follow him through as well. So if the slower car is forced out wide, I want to be there to maximise on that and try and nip through as well so that I don't lose sight of this quick guy. So we're coming down the straight, get in the toe and just try and stick with him. And then down into turn one. Our guy hasn't got a very good run, but what's happened is the slower car in front, I think he was looking in his mirrors, he's missed his braking point, he's going in a bit quick, he isn't going to make the apex. So our faster guys nip into the inside there. We're going to follow him. We've got the brakes right. We've got a, you know good speed to get to the apex. We're just going to follow him in. Get on the power coming out. So our lad there in front has made it. He's around and through. Now I've got to worry about this white car myself. Now 
as as has happened on previous laps, he's quite far over to the left-hand side. He's going to go quite tight into this turn. So we're looking for that understeer moment where he's, he slide, the front of the car won't turn and he'll slide out to the right-hand side. So what I want to do here is set myself up for the switch back. So I'm going to stay over to the right-hand side. I'm going to let him force him into the corner um, too far. So he pushes out wide and then we're just going to get the switch back, jump to his inside and we'll get the run on him into the next bend. So we're out wide, you can just see in front of his car there in the corner of the screen. We turn in and I'm just looking at him, I'm watching this car the whole time to see where it goes. There he goes, he's running out wide and now we're nice and tight on the power and we're going to do him on the brakes coming down the hill. So you can just see the car in the front of his car in the corner of my screen there. Now to make a braking overtake down here, what we need to do is straighten the wheels as much as we can. So you see I'm going to turn the car towards the corner um, quite early and get it in a straight line and I'm going to straighten the wheels and stamp on the brake pedal because I can brake a lot harder when the wheels are straight versus when the wheels are turning. Because of the line our friend in the white car is in on the outside he's actually got to do a little bit of turning and braking as well so he cannot physically brake harder than me going into this corner. So you'll see me now, straighten the wheel, hard on the brakes, and then really tight turn in. So we've got that position done, and we're on the back of our fast guy here. So it's all worked out quite well. So now we're just working on getting as close as we can to this guy. Working on our uh, exits, and I'm watching his driving the whole time as well to see potentially where he's quicker than me and where I'm quicker than him and if I can force him into making mistakes or if he makes the same mistakes at any corners. So he's gone out wide there and he's come back in so I've, I'll keep that in mind for the next few laps. I could be able to force him to do that again. He's obviously knows I'm behind him. He's gone out wide again there so there's another potential spot for the next lap. So we're just working on closing him down now and I've hooked up to the back of him here. I'm just going to keep him in, in check now. Follow him through this next set. He's actually pulled a car length on me there under brakes. But we're going to drag it back on the straight. So now I've decided in my head I'm going to try and overtake him at turn one. I think that's where the move's going to be. So I'm just moving my car around, trying to give him something to think about. I'm not going to make a move, but I'm just moving the car around to, to get him to look in the mirrors and try and make him to uh, force him to make a mistake so coming out of turn last turn we get a run but we're equally matched out of last turn so I know there's no overtaking opportunity here at the moment we're just going to follow him down and I'm just going to try and put the pressure on I'll pull out and I'll come back in I'm just trying to make him think I'm going to do it see if I can rattle him a bit and there we go he's made a little mistake and another one had a little bit sideways and we're on his bumper now, we've got him. So I'm pretty happy in myself. I've got this guy under pressure and he's starting to, to make some mistakes. He's a little wide there and we're just gonna keep piling the pressure on. Try to get the run out of here, but we're pretty equally matched again. So I'm just gonna chase him down now. Again, just pulling out, letting him think I'm gonna do it and then I'll drop back in behind him. Come out wide, try and get that run out of this corner. But again, we're equally matched. He gets a little bit of a run out of me there. He did, did a really nice corner there. So coming down to the hairpin, I know he ran wide down here last lap. So coming in, but he's got it all under control. So I'm not happy now. I think he's got getting a bit comfortable with me being behind him. So I'm going to really start to screw the pressure on now. So coming through here again, he hasn't made a mistake. So it's clear to me he's getting comfortable with me behind him, which I don't want. So. Now I go up another level, so we'll push right back up onto his bumper again now and really start to pull up pile the pressure on him. So working on my exit, I know I've got the run to draft up to the back of him up to the chicane. I've decided in my head now I'm going to overtake him in turn one. So I just need to close the gap, get myself prepared for that. So draft him up to him, trying to put him off, keep the car over a little bit so he can see me. Through the chicane, close right up to him now, and then nice tidy run through the last turn. He's going to go out a little wide. We're going to 
get on the power early, we've got the run, we're nice and close, this is it, game on. So I know I'm going to do him at turn one well. now. So I'm going to pull out, let him know what I'm doing, and then we're just going to drive down the inside of him. He can't defend it. Now at this point here, I've got him almost behind me. He's going to tuck him behind me, but what, what he's going to aim to do is do the crisscross, so what I did on the guy before. So he's going to try to come from my left-hand side across the back of my car and get on the right-hand side of me um, to drive around me into turn two and that's exactly where I want him to go so what I'm going to do is run my car out to the left hand side to make him do that because I want him on my outside for the next turn not on the inside so I run the car out wide I've put him in the place where I want him and you can hear him um, in the audio you'll hear his car up beside me he's actually right up beside my driver's door but it's exactly the position I want him in around his corner because there's no way he can drive around the outside of me around here. There just isn't the grip on the outside of a track. So I've put him beside me. All he can do is he can either hang it out around there and risk going off, or he can give up and drop him behind me. So he drops him behind me, and then all I have to concentrate on there is getting my braking correct down into this next turn. Now what I want to do is I want to not be perfect on the braking i don't want to go really tight into this corner because then it gives him the opportunity again to drive around the outside of me so i'm going to put my car in the middle of the track because it's so close if i go in the middle he can't go anywhere he can only stay behind so coming down here braking 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 i'm just going to keep my car in the middle of the track so he can't attack me then i'll take my line and work on the exit coming out of the corner And at that point, we will end it. So I hope that gives you a little insight into what I'm thinking, what I'm doing as I'm trying to drive through the pack. Unfortunately, um, this race didn't end perfectly. We had, there was a little bit of an incident um, a couple of corners later, which I don't need to show. Um, but we managed to, I think, make 27 overtaking maneuvers. And we got up to fifth place. Um, for the finish of the race so still a good race all in all um, a lot going on but 27 positions in a handful of laps is you know it's a good day at the office for anyone so i hope that helped that i hope it helps you out guys um, do let us know if there's anything else you want me to focus on in the comments down below obviously if you like the video please give it a like and feel free to subscribe to the channel for more and we'll see you again soon cheers bye bye